how many of you were able to get through the whole thing? I clean up some of the mess you made, the sand and the water dripped. We're going to go through now some of the symbolism that you may have seen. I'll talk about that. When you first arrived on this scene and you felt your feet on the sand, what did the sand feel like to you? Just throw out what you felt. Soft, warm. Soft, warm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. That was easy. All the same, huh? You went together, you're supposed to go separately. <laughs> it started out that way and then it was wet. Okay, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, it's still on the sand though, right? Yeah. By the way, where were we? Symbolically. I mean, don't tell me you were in the Bahamas or anything, but Symbolically, where do you think you went? I know it's hyperspace, but let's be symbolic. What were we actually doing? Well, we were part of space, weren't we? Yes, but where? Inside of Where inside? Just like your heart? No. Nope. Close. <laughs> let's look at the symbolism. We had on the left the ocean, on the right mountains and palm trees. We were in the sand. What is that kind of Symbolic of left, right, middle. Oh, come on. Where, what was the pine? The sand. So, because what does that represent? It was the liaison between the ocean and the land. Yeah, duh. Come on. We don't have other state got it. So we had the ocean on the left, and the left being physical reality, the ocean of? Ocean of life. That's your life. Here was your spiritual side, the high mountains, high level perspective. Violet and white. Got mine, yeah? But not in physical reality. Still snow capped. And the strip of sand in between. So, why I'm asking is because how you felt on that sand is how you feel about your, ba your balancing abilities, how you're able to balance yourself. So if it felt soft and warm, that means you feel good about your central place and your balance and you're able to center yourself. If it becomes wet or hard, what does that imply? When sand becomes wet, what's happening to it? Water is infiltrating. And so if we are in our pineal gland on the sand, and the ocean of light, the water, is infiltrating our sand, that means we have too much left brain thinking that's flooding into our balancing place and it's not letting us balance very well. So that's a clue for us of how we're allowing the physical world to overwhelm us. If we find the sand very hard, then we find balancing difficult. It's hard for us to balance. So we need to work on that more. And we need to be very honest about this, because there's no judgment. It's just a statement of how we are feeling and acting right now and being. So as far as the ocean, when you looked at the ocean, what did the ocean look like to you? What color? What texture? Light blue? Light blue. Okay. What else? Smooth. Okay. Anybody else? Green. Okay. Anybody else? Silver. That's I've heard that before. Silver. Anybody else? How anybody have waves or anything like that? No sharks. Okay. Someone told me they had a shark in there. No. Okay. What is this? That's a small class, so we have little limited adjectives. Well, light blue. Now remember, the ocean is your ocean of life. That's how you perceive your life. Light blue represents what? Communication, but also isolation, some, maybe a little depression sometimes. And what else? Thinking a lot about the near future. Okay, thinking a lot ahead instead of what's right now. 
So it has both good and positive, negative connotations to it. Okay, depending. Smooth. That means you perceive your life as relatively calm right now, even flow. If you had a lot of waves, what would that mean? I mean turbulence means things are bumpy for you right now. Things are coming at you. Green. What would green then represent in your ocean of life? Would represent that things are happening in your life right now that are bringing up issues from the past. Can be emotional. Okay? So we need to look at that in that person's life. Now, silver is interesting. I've heard this a couple times before. I didn't go over this with you, but silver is a color associated with the angelic hierarchy. So that can imply that the angelic part of you is infiltrating or helping or assisting in your life situation right now. Silver is an angelic color. What did the sky look like? Clear. Okay, clear. Sunny. What else? Anybody else? Was it raining in your world? No? Gold. Gold. Golden. Golden. Puffy clouds or dark clouds or puffy clouds? What else? Anybody else? The clear blue. Okay. Okay. That's generally everything that now. So let's look at these symbols. The sky in this visualization represents how you perceive your reaction or interaction is with the God mind within you. So if you see clear and sunny skies. That means you perceive your interaction with God to be pretty open and even and understandable. Golden is a God mind color that you have a lot of interaction and understanding of the God mind. Puffy clouds, any kind of clouds, represent confusion or doubt. But it's normal to have puffy clouds here and there. That represents an occasional questioning of things that are going on between you and God. That's very normal. If you had a dark black sky and a strong wind, I'd say you're a little pretty angry at God. Blue and no clouds, blue, clear communication, not a doubt and no about it. You're just pretty sure about what you're getting. Before I get to this part, which is very symbolic, just by a show of hands, how many of you did see your personal architect? Okay. Do not share it with anybody. Your personal archetype is the unique statement in hyperspace of you. If you give it to someone or show it to someone, it is equivalent of telling someone your social security number, your credit card number, and your bank account number, which, by the way, I would like before you leave today. <laughs> Otherwise, they can access your frequency very quickly. You don't want to give them that access. So that's for you personally. It's a statement of who and what you are at this moment. And those of you who have a healer's handbook can look in the dictionary part and, and break the pieces down and see what they mean. And then the colors will refine that and tell you well, what that, how that refines that meaning. So that's important to, to you to understand that. Also realize that that will change as your mind pattern changes. As you learn and experience different things and grow, that will shift, which is why it's so important that you do this exercise on your own 